A quiet night of watching television turned into a night of terror for Frederick Wilson and his girlfriend when intruders went into the home. It was April of 2008. One person made it out alive, the other killed by a single gunshot to the head. Here's Vincent Hill with For the Love of Money, one of Oklahoma's cold case files. Well, he was a good fit, active, liked to play basketball, go swimming, go to the park. Sandra Wilson went to all of her son Frederick Wilson's basketball games, but they disagreed about football. Uh, this one here, he's a big OU fan, and we would always go rivalry, OU, OSU. Frederick's cousin even played for OU and wore number 82, honoring the year Frederick was born. As a child, Sandra gave Frederick a unique nickname. I'm Petey Wheatstraw. Petey Wheatstraw, a character from a 1970s comedy horror movie that was killed and came back to life. After high school, Petey had a child of his own, a daughter named Kennedy. They were very close. But the father and daughter time was cut short when Kennedy was just five years old. Me and my friends was playing dominoes, and I might have went in another room, and he said, your house phone rung. But it wasn't just any phone call. Somebody called me and told me that he had got shot, but they didn't ever tell me he was already dead. Unlike the character from the movie, I never gonna see him no more. took everything away from me. Sandra's Petey was not coming back. Petey and his girlfriend were watching TV just before he was killed. Minimum of at least two men came into the house. Rick Lawrence with the Tulsa County Cold Case Unit says that's when the real terror began. The people came in, they uh, zip tied both of the occupants of the home. They uh, then covered them up with uh, sheets and blankets, things like that to where they couldn't see what was going on. The motive, they suspect. They were there to rob him of his uh, uh, drug money proceeds, and uh, he was rumored to have had several thousand dollars there in the apartment with him. After the robbery, Petey was shot once in the back of the head. After the robbers left, the girlfriend was able to get her zip tie off of her feet, and then she went to the front door, was able to manipulate the door open, and went to the neighbors and called the police. How the robbers got in the home has always troubled detectives. It's uh, believed that they were let in the house or they crawled in through the window in the bathroom. But there's a problem with that. The height of the window was pretty yep. significant. And it only opened about six inches. There's another nagging piece of this puzzle for these investigators. Why leave a witness? That's a very good question. That's an excellent question. Typically, you wouldn't find a witness in a situation like this. Investigators say the only witness has been less than cooperative. And she did have enough time to actually see them when they came yes. into the house. Yes. So it wasn't that she was immediately covered. That said, investigators are on the trail of Petey's killers. The suspects I have are very well known to law enforcement. In the meantime, missed opportunities for the mother and daughter Petey leaves behind. And I wish she was here, you know, where he can see her grow up, graduate, she get married, he ain't gonna be, he's not here for nothing. She, uh, whoever killed him took all that away. If you have any information about the April 22nd, 2008 murder of Frederick Wilson, contact the Tulsa County Cold Case Unit at 918-596-5612. Vincent Hill, 2 News.